Hello everyone, welcome back to Rebar. Happy to see you guys back. I'm doing a video now on a classic beauty look for um, kind of a beautiful theme with, with my last last video. I'm going to be doing four of them in, in a series. So this is my second one. And this is basically a um, kind of like a classic look, just a really gentle, um, soft, pretty kind of look that anyone can do for any kind of occasion. And it's great for work, it's great for a lot of different things. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my, my primer here. And this one here is the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. So it's just a nice, easy um, way, way thing to blend in. It's not like a heavier primer. I've had some primers that are a little bit powdery and a little bit more heavy. And that, those are kind of not what I'm looking for right now. So that's the base color there or the base of the for our base, actually. This is Delaware Nude Foundation. This is a, a really nice one for having an SPF 30. It's a, um, it's a light, pretty texture on the skin. And because it's a little bit thinner and watery, I usually end up pouring it in my hand. And I'll use a beauty blender to apply it because it, I don't want to like kind of render it a little bit. Once it sets, it sets really nicely. So I'll use my beauty blender. And mostly where I focus coverage is on my cheeks and places where I get the most sun. Do I not? Do I not? Make sure it's all blended in nicely. This one is a combination of a, a couple of chemical sunscreens and also mineral sunscreens. So it's a great protection. It's so sheer and light and not heavy and does a great job. So I'm going to do my brows real quick. And the brow pencil I'm going to be using is Brow Now in Light Brunette. And this is just a pencil that has, it's a little bit of a, of a um, kind of a colored gel in there, so it can even out the brow shape, fill in any gaps you might have. And it sticks really nicely. I'll use a little brush to kind of lift it up a little bit. So the color that's supposed to be using for this look, the um, the palette that, that they recommended that I was going to work from is not actually in stores anymore. So I'm going to do a different, different one. So I'm going to use colors from Current, Current Desire and Ivory Power. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using for this one today. Normally it would have been kind of more earthier tones, things like that, but that's what we're doing now. So I'm going to use a little um, blending brush for Estee Lauder, of course. And I'm going to go into this kind of gray color here. and get into the crease there. And this should be really just quick and easy. I do like to mess around a little bit when I have more time and I'm not on the way to work or something like that right away, then I'll, I will dawdle and come back and forth and keep on piling on more stuff because it's just kind of fun for me to play with stuff, but it's prettier to not go crazy. So there's that transition color there. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Lithic Mix brush and I'm going to pick up this um, they don't have to pick up the gray and the purple because I think the purple is probably going to be too much by itself, but just go in the outer corner here. Yeah, I like that. That works nicely. So there we go with those two colors. 
And then we'll go back and use, I'll just clean off the same brush a little bit on my towel here. And I'm going to do this pale pink color in the inner corner. I work with a guy who, at my store, that's just, he's really a great guy, really, really nice guy. And he's just amazed at how fast women get into, we just get in there and go go crazy getting our, our makeup on. And he takes, he takes his time, of course, but it, he, he was kind of, he just liked the, my, my application, the way I make, do my makeup. And that was kind of cool to get feedback from him that, you know, he just loves what we do and he just takes a little bit more of a, more time with it. So this is that light, light color on the brow bone there. And normally I would have done for a modern classic look or a, like a beautiful classic look, I would have done something more with warm tones, but because again we didn't have the shadow palette that I needed for this look, I'm going to go in kind of with uh, a grayer liner instead and kind of keep it with a little bit of a cooler look. So this is going to be the um, a Double Wear Night Diamond pencil and this is a long wearing pencil. It's Double Wear of course. so. So with that modern classic look, it's basically a darker color on the, on the top lash line and then a lighter color in the lower lash line. So I'm doing this kind of this black, almost black color on the upper lash line. My little dog is licking my elbow right now. She's very cute. So there's that there. And then for lower lash line, I was going to do kind of a, um, I don't have a, a pearl pencil, so I was thinking about doing a, 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 a softer pencil, but I think I'll just go back with this one just and go really, really lightly. It's a tiny bit of finish it on the eye area. So it gets get that that focus of the eye shape and all that. <clears throat> and then let me see here. I always want to keep these caps off so they don't dry out because that's what happens with these pencils if you don't take care of that. So I'm going to actually do uh, concealer in my eyes for next, and then I'm going to do my mascara on top of that so I can kind of work in that way. This is Perfectionist. This is a uh, it's a concealer. It's also a um, brightening serum. So I'll do a little bit of the brightener just for fun here to. I brighten up the eye area there. I'll use the beauty blender to blend it out. I don't have the small beauty blender, the tiny teeny, teeny one that you can get into the corner all the way in there, but yeah, did a pretty good job. So that's that there, and then the concealer, this is going to be more coverage, and I definitely would like more coverage, so I'm going to do a little swipe across the way here, and the same thing with Beauty Blender. And I'm getting up next to the liner, but I'm not getting on it, so it's going to kind of soften it up a little bit, so that's a good way to think about that. You want to keep all of your... Usually under eye area is kind of a, 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 a bugaboo place <laughs> for um, people who just have um, hollow hollow eyes, have you know start dark circles, have puffy eyes. So if you can keep all your focus above the eye, that's the, that's the best place to have that focus. So that's what I, I do generally. So mascara, I'm going to go with my Sumptuous Extreme. This is my favorite one. It's it's a really big fat brush. Has a lot of um, has fibers in it, so it gives you. Super, super volume. The 
because there are fibers, you should be careful with uh, if you are contact lens wear. I'm not. This is just one coat, and it gives you that much volume, so it's it's really really nice. So bigger lashes there, and then for the lower lashes, I'm going to do a different mascara because we want to do less powerful, um, depth, you know, like that. So I'm going to do Knockout for the lower lashes. This is one that Kendall Jenner wears. She's one, that's one of her favorite mascaras. Has a great little brush. You can start, it's hard to show you the angle, but there's a shape to it that gives you good separation. And then I'll use this on my lower lash line. And that is that. So a nice balance of more on top, less on bottom. So there we go with that. And then get some bronzer on. I don't wear a lot of bronzer because I'm so fair, so I'm going to just quickly do a little bit along the cheekbone there. It looks weird to do too much bronzer on a really pale person when you your whole body is pale. So do that. Just get some warmth on the skin and right along that, that cheekbone area there. And then for blush, um, because we didn't have the right palette for me to use for this one, and I could have used um, the peachier color. Actually, I'll go ahead and still I'll, I'll use the peach passion. That's this is one of my favorite ones. This it's kind of kind of coolish. Kind of soften that and then for lips um, kind of a really easy quick look it's, it's a very pretty lip color this is called irresistible and just a nice way to finish the look So irresistible. So that's my colors for the modern classic. And hope you enjoyed this video. And definitely we'll do a couple more. The next couple will have each one will have different foundations and they'll have different colors. And I'm trying to kind of mix and match a lot of different products so you can see a lot of things that we use from Estee Lauder. And uh, the, the the last one will be the bold one. So that'll be kind of the more intense one. You will have a really dramatic red lip. And so I'm looking forward to doing that for you guys as well. So um, if you have any um, videos or anything things you like to see, um, just let me know and I'd be happy to. Um, create a video for you around whatever you're interested in looking at. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you later.